Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making a reusable tote bag. This is an easy sewing project for all levels. The pattern comes in four different sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. The measurements are on the screen and in the description. And if you have any questions about the sewing process or the pattern, feel free to chat with me at properfitclothing.com. Other than that, thank you for tuning in and supporting the channel and let's get into the sewing project. Getting started with supplies, you're going to want one and a half yards to make the largest size and I recommend canvas, denim, or twill. These are all very durable fabrics. About three quarters of a yard of contrast fabric and I recommend vinyl or leather. This is going to go on the bottom of the bag. And two to four yards of one inch webbing. This is determined by the size of straps you want to put on the bag. And lastly, your pattern, and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. They're super easy to use. All you have to do is print it, cut it, and you're ready to go. And everything will be linked down in the description from the supplies to the pattern. After cutting out the pattern, you're going to want to end up with one main panel cut on the fold and make sure you mark the strap lines and the pocket line for the size you are making. And for this video, we're going to be making the small, but all of the sizes are made the exact same way. One bottom panel cut out of your contrast fabric and this is also cut on the fold. And lastly, two pocket panels. Moving on to construction, we're going to take the main panel and hem the top edges. Roll the edge over a half an inch and then another half an inch so that way you have a clean edge on the inside. I recommend throwing a few pins in to keep the hem from moving and we're going to sew at a quarter inch away from the outside edge and then another stitch a quarter inch away from that stitch. So there will be two stitches going across both sides. This stitch will be visible so it's best to use thread that matches your fabric or if you want you can use a decorative stitch to make it stand out. Next, we're going to do the same thing to both of the pocket panels on the top edge. Roll it over a half inch and then another half inch, pin it into position, and sew along that top edge. And we're also going to be sewing it the same way as the main panel with two stitches on that hem. And make sure you repeat this process for the other pocket panel. Take those pocket panels and your main panel, and we're going to line the pocket panel up with the pocket panel line you marked on your main panel. And when you have it lined up, Pin it into position and we're going to sew just the side edges as close as we can to the outside edge. Next cut two strips of webbing and the measurements will be on the screen for the size bag you're making. Line the webbing ends up with the strap marks on the main panel. Pin the webbing into position and sew along the outside edges forming a box. You can also do a few extra tack stitches along the top edge to really secure that webbing down. The webbing will cover the side edges of the pocket making for a clean finish. Grab the contrast fabric you are using, line it up in the center of the main panel and we're going to roll the edges over half an inch hiding that raw edge and also covering up the bottom of that pocket and the straps. Pin the bottom panel into position once you have the edges rolled over and we're going to sew at a quarter inch away from that outside edge. And for extra security along the bottom, I recommend doing another stitch a quarter inch away from that first stitch. It's pounded in my brain often enough, asleep and awake, in the drowsy fantasy moment of every lonely dawn. Oh, come on, what 
your answer. You've taken my breath away. No, it's just the sudden realization, you see, of the fact that, that I love you. Next, we're going to fold the back in half with the right sides together. Make sure you line up the side edges and the top, and we're going to sew along the edge at one inch seam allowance. And make sure you do a good amount of tack stitching at the top and the bottom of the bag to really secure down those edges. And at this point, you can serge those raw edges or you can add double fold bias tape to really make that bag look clean on the inside. This will also prevent fraying and if you don't have a serger, you can also use a zigzag stitch. And another quick tip is to use matching thread on your bobbin so that way it hides the stitch on the inside of the bag. The next step is to pull the bag open, forming a triangle at the bottom of that side seam and you're going to want to make sure you lay it flat. Use the measurements on the screen for the size bag you are making. You're going to want to measure up from that point and then also across. And once you have this complete for both sides, we're going to pin it into position and sew along that mark you made. And before I move on, I like to line up both of the points to make sure I did them the exact same or else the bottom of the bag will be uneven. And once you're satisfied, flip the right side of the bag out. And the final step is to sew down or cut off those flaps on the inside of the bag. And if you choose to sew them down, you're going to want to roll down the edges of the bag all the way to the bottom and sew along the outside edge of that triangle. And if you choose to sew them down, it will add strength and an overall longer lasting bag, but you totally can cut them. It's not that big of a deal. And this is what it will look like if you choose to sew them down. But other than that, your tote bag is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Hope you had fun with this project, and we'll see you next time.